Hey YouTube, finally got around to doing this floor. Uh, got my bucket, I put a handle on here. Just be able to dump it. This is one, one bag of Portland and 40 gallons of foam made with Drexel foam. Shouldn't take too many more of these. Yep. Okay. Handy dandy mixer. It took me about four gallons of that Drexel solution to get 40 gallons in here. I'm putting about half a coffee can of lime in there. I like to mix up the lime before I put the concrete in. Ninety two and a half pounds of pork. Back left the dust settle and get to you in a little bit. Shut down.
out, I gotta mix another batch. process, make foam, put it in, run out, mix it, make some more, put it back in. So, we'll get with you when I get it done. something in here for that. Just the underlayment. I'm going to put a hard concrete shell on this. This should insulate it good though. And then I'm going to get more level with that shell I'm going to put on there. This is roughly going to be about three and a half inches thick. Stuff. I made this out of a piece of, piece of pink styrofoam. So, we'll get back with you when it's done. Okay, we got everything put together. And I put all this plywood you know, let's wait for board around to keep the dogs out of it. So all I gotta do is let that set up. It's not a pretty job, but I'm gonna go back over it with the hard finish. That's what make it look nice. This here I'm not worried about because it's gonna be covered up. All of it's gonna be is insulation anyway. Uh, I may it's settled about an inch too, so I may try to put a little bit more on it. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, yeah, I'll, whenever I get that top on there and get it finished, then I'll show it to you. And then I can start my uh, rocket mass heater put in here and run the pipe straight up to the flue and out. Then I can get rid of this junk. Start making, finish that corner up. Start making it look nice in here. And here's the results of the floor after about three or four weeks, I guess. It's been a while since I did it. But, uh, yeah, it, I don't know if you can see, I had it to the line of this board here. You can see it shrunk quite a bit. 
and it's cracked and everything so I think what I'm gonna do is is you know it gives just a little bit with my feet when I walk on it but what I'm gonna do is uh, come back in here I'm gonna, I'm kind of through with air creep I'm gonna kind of give up on it because it's it's just too hard to get it mixed right for me. I mean, I'm not knocking it. Uh, I think it's a great thing if you can get it to work, but I'm just not good at it. Oh, and this concrete block here, you might be wondering. I don't think I ever explained it, but that's where I put my drain in it. I had it perfectly level on it. So far, it's still level. But I'll probably cut that back a little bit. Coming here, I'm gonna make some uh, sawdust creep because that'll give good insulation, and hopefully, it'll be enough on top of here. All I want is this floor to be insulated, so when the sun shines in on it, it'll absorb the heat. And it's only going to do that in the winter because I'm going to have an overhang. In the summer, it won't shine in here on it. And uh, it'll keep it cool in here. That mess is I've been cleaning out my flue because it got gummed up. But anyway, that's about it. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, I'll show some more whenever I get the concrete out of the sawdust in here and stuff and I think that's the way I'm going to go with the rest of it so be cheaper than the foam board alright YouTube we'll see you later